Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading for Libra. How are you guys? This is about being optimistic in the new year. What you have to be optimistic about as you move into the new year regarding your love life. Libra, oh, there we go. Getting to know each other. So you are going to get to know somebody new. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of passion here. Oh my goodness. Make sure you get to know this person, okay? <laughs> yeah, so it could be a reconciliation for some of you. Someone from your past, possibly. This could be actually a New Year's resolution that you take the time to get to know somebody before you move towards that physical connection as well. This card wants to come out too, yeah. So I definitely see a past life, or it's like you've known this person before. So make sure you get to know this person, okay? You may be re reacquainting with somebody and getting to know each other all over again. But take the time to get to know them. I do see a bit of a New Year's resolution. Okay, let's see what's happening. Libra, what do you have to be optimistic about in your love life, Libra? What does Libra have to be optimistic about as you move into the new year? Very nice. Yeah, a leap of faith. Quick reflection on the past. Take the time to get to know someone before you take a risk, okay? Before you go off on the path. You may have someone who's headed in your direction. Could be somebody you knew when you were young. And foolish. Yeah, we've got a couple of single people here. So don't take a risk, okay? Look out for yourself. Look out for number one. But it looks positive. I see two single people coming together here possibly a reconciliation yeah safety security stability uh, somebody who's ready to commit i feel like you're going to move towards a committed relationship someone's ready for a commitment here wow libra oops i want to shuffle these up libra what does libra have to be optimistic about wands yeah aries leo sag Leo energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's some Libra energy, yeah. So I feel like what you have here is someone, you got some, you, I definitely see reconciliation for a lot of you, very strong. But this is a decision, okay, for you to make. Some of you are releasing somebody and actually going to connect with another person. Uh, you may have two past life people here. <laughs> and it's possible, but I see two soulmates here, two people connecting, making a decision to connect Maybe you're just going to stay friends first, get to know each other all over again. doesn't have to be uh, somebody. It could be somebody when you were young and foolish, okay? Somebody maybe wasn't ready to take the risk. They wanted to stay single, so they were financially stable as well. So it's somebody who's stable, maybe a business owner, somebody very theatrical, someone who now knows what they want. So this could be somebody who... Um, was a little immature in the past, a little bit of a risk taker, but there's something here to do with this new beginning. Something is being exposed. Someone's thinking about you. I do see uh, your energy. Someone's making a decision about you, okay? Some of you aren't going to go for it, though. I can see you going off with another person if you have a choice. Some of you might have two people from your past wanting to reach out. I see a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy as well, someone financially stable. So you may not. Some of you may go off towards a new person. Stay optimistic. You have a lot of abundance. Be aware of the abundance around you. Look into the future, the sun, you see. Hmm. Gemini, Libra. It could be another Libra. Gemini or Aquarius or an Aries or Leo. Looks like two, a decision. <laughs> Getting to know each other. Here we go. Yeah. So some of you have been very stuck. You're looking out for yourself. Someone was holding back here. Somebody was very stuck, maybe stubborn. I feel like there's someone who hasn't really probably let go of you possibly as well. Look at the details though. Okay. Take your time to get to know someone. It's sort of a protective energy. But I feel like you've got someone here who was kind of a little bit stuck. They didn't want to take a risk. They wanted to stay single till they were financially stable. It's almost like somebody is kind of growing up here, a little bit of a level up. Tell me about passion. Why is this passion here? Whoops. Why is this passion here? Yeah, trust your intuition. You may know who this is. <clears throat> I think you got someone who's been holding on to you and they haven't let go. They've been keeping a secret. 
somebody wants a reconciliation with you. I don't think, I think there's someone here who doesn't want to let go, probably never have. This is someone who's holding on to something, though, that they need to let go of. So it's a reflection on the past. Some of you may actually let go. Just trust your intuition. It's going to guide you. I see that Pisces energy. This is going within, seeking answers within. You know who this person is. You know everything you need to know. <laughs> You're kind of protecting yourself, possibly. You're holding back. Tell me about reconciliation. That's what I feel. almost feels like a New Year's resolution as well. Tell me about reconciliation. Yeah. Faith. Trust. Two people on the same page, the same path. Some of you have no faith in someone from the past. But I actually feel there's someone who's holding on to you and has not let go. They're keeping something to themselves. This person knows everything they need to know about you. I can tell you that right now. They see you as faithful. If you have somebody who wasn't faithful to you in the past and they come back around, I feel as though you're going to leave them in the past. But I do see you moving towards staying optimistic. That's your message, okay? Something new. So you've got some options and choices by the looks of it. Tell me about past life relationship. Here we go. Ah, yeah. So somebody is pulling back here. Now, looking at things differently, seeing things different. Some of you, this could be someone who's different than your usual type. So you may have a new person uh, who's very much like yourself. So, Because sometimes the past life relationship is where two people are just right for each other. Uh, there's chemistry, there's balance. You may be tempted by someone from the past to take a risk. Maybe you took a risk with some. I feel like somebody held back. They were afraid to take a risk. They're seeing things differently now. They may have grown up. Someone's ready. They're reflecting. They're doing that inner reflection before they take a leap of faith. Someone here may have felt you weren't the right person maybe in the past. Yeah, I see a crossroad. Some of you got a choice. You may kind of pull back to see if you've got two people. You may be leaving someone in the past, going off on a new path. I see a new offer, a fresh new start. Somebody who's on the same page, the same path. And that's. I feel like it's a New Year's resolution. I feel like it's... I definitely feel that energy. It's making that reconciliation with yourself to uh, trust in the path that you're on, making solid choices. If there's somebody here from your past coming towards you, you may be pulling back, looking at things different than you did in the past. Somebody may actually look different. I see a choice and a path. This is a life choice. Yeah, you've got someone who's financially stable. I feel like you had somebody who was holding back, um, saving their money. I think you got someone who's now financially stable, a single person, someone who has everything they need but love. And I think you got someone who is ready to commit here now. Oh my goodness. So if you had somebody who you broke up with in the past, I think you got two people. Some of you definitely, I feel two, there's like two energies here, but I do see a solid Taurus, possibly Virgo. Where it's just that energy of someone who's single. They have everything they need but love. This is someone who's very, who may have been planning. Uh, somebody who's spent a lot of time working, saving money. And they're now ready to uh, commit. So, ooh. Somebody sees you as faithful here as well. Uh, whoops. There we go. Yeah. So well, there we go. We got this energy of walking away. Someone's headed towards you, though. Like some of you are walking away from someone, moving towards someone better. Someone may not have been faithful, so you're going to make a choice to do with that. It's where you're going to temper your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings. You're going to look at things differently. It's a very healing energy, though, because this is where you kind of just sort of temper everything and you kind of look. If you have a choice between two, you may have to make a decision. And the decision may be ba based on one person is from the past. Okay, that reflection. Uh, but it could, like I say, sometimes it gets confusing when I see that energy. Yeah, someone's ready to put something in the past here to let go of something. Some of you are looking back on the past at all the hard work. You're ready to move towards something more successful. So that's what I feel could be happening. But like I say, it could be this other person as well. Yeah, you've got a Gemini energy here too. 
Gemini, possibly Virgo, Mercury energy. Someone has all now has all the tools they need. They have everything they need now. They're ready to take that leap of faith and go down that path. Someone's headed towards you, see? Where's my two of cups? Where is my person, my soulmate? So this is your decision, whether who you're going to release or whether you're going to have a reconciliation. It's a judgment, okay? So watch. You may have judged somebody wrong in the past. They may have judged you. Um, but I feel it's more about that decision between two, possibly. Someone may have actually chosen another person and went off on a different path. They may be reflecting on the path. They may have made a bad choice. For most of you, I feel like someone is now has all the tools, the financial stability. They're ready to move towards a committed relationship. Safety, security, stability. Two people who have each other's backs, who are faithful and loyal. Uh, look out for each other's interests. That's the way where you're headed. Yeah, somebody who's ready for a family, maybe children. This could be somebody you knew when you were really young. I didn't have a lot of money, okay? But I feel like you're possibly going to get some kind of a gift. Uh, some of you have a new crush as well. So it's just a, it could be a crush, crush phase. But what I feel mostly, it's someone who was young. They didn't have a lot uh, to give. They didn't have much to give in the past, and they may now. So like... I feel somebody's kind of grown up here. Some of you, it's about family and children. Could be the blending of two families. You both may have children now. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Yeah, someone's definitely, oh yeah, I see some truth and some success, some kind of victory. Someone's coming to speak a truth to you uh, about why. Somebody's more successful now. They feel like they have more to give. I do think they're going to keep things simple at first, making sure you're on the same page. I do see a reconciliation. Very strong reconciliation energy. Oh, Libra, Libra, Libra. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy here. Very strong. Yeah, so someone here, yeah, you got someone with a strong financial foundation here too. This is someone who's ready for commitment or marriage. This is someone who maybe owns a business, a home. They could fix homes. I see a new beginning, a new home. There's something really, really nice happening here for you guys. Uh, you have a new person here as well. So I think some of you, I don't know, you're going to have to make a decision. Others of you, it is definitely a reconciliation. Somebody wants their soulmate. They're thinking about you. Libra. They're going to let you make the decision, though. This is someone who kind of keeps their feelings a little to themselves. They probably come across, you know, this is someone strategizing, expressing themselves, starting something, gaining the strength and confidence, okay? This is someone who maybe didn't have the confidence in the past, may have been overthinking a situation, maybe made the wrong decision, okay? So that's, in, it could all be one person as well, but I feel like some of you definitely, there's an energy of two people, Somebody here who's ready for commitment and marriage. Somebody with a solid foundation. It really could be anyone. You'll have to, you'll know. I think you're going to know who this is. Just trust your intuition. But someone here, they know everything they already need to know about you. They see you as faithful and loyal. Someone who's on the same path, the same page, you have the same lifestyle. That's what I feel is this person is, some of you, if you have someone who wasn't faithful, I do think you'll choose to let them go. Uh, move towards someone better. So tell me about this King of Swords. What is this person? Oops, there we go. Oh, yeah. Someone's ready for love. See, you've got someone here who's doing a lot of thinking about their feelings, their emotions, you know, making a decision to come in and start something. They're gaining the strength and the confidence. I feel like you had somebody who wasn't confident. Maybe they built a business, built a new home. Uh, they feel ready. Okay, someone here wants to speak the truth about when you were younger, maybe about the past, or it's somebody just coming in who's been crushing on you for a long time. Maybe you haven't seen this person for a lot of years. King of Cups, emotionally available, mature. Somebody is coming in to make this decision. Definitely reconciliation. Yeah, someone who is very much in control of their emotions. <laughs> Uh, heading, they're heading towards you. Someone's feeling a lot more powerful, a lot more you know, strong emotionally. This is someone who's definitely ready uh, to come in here and using all the power they have to make this decision. This is somebody who doesn't want you to get away. 
Uh, it looks like you're the one that may have gotten away at some point too. Yeah, this person's ready to take a leap. So I do feel they're, they have some Aries, Leo, or Sag in their chart. They're ready to take this risk. They're reflecting on their past. This person feels more in control. Uh, they want to get on the same page. They're ready to go down this path. Oh my gosh, yeah. They've been doing a little inner reflection here. Uh, looking for answers within themselves here. Uh, this has been some kind of a pause. But I feel this is someone who's just kind of been kind of waiting uh, to approach you, to take this leap of faith. Uh, they're looking at different ways to approach you, to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at things from a different angle, a different perspective. Yeah. Some of you got a choice, I think, between two, and that could be yourself, trusting your intuition. Look at this from, if you got two people, you know, you're seeing things from a different perspective, any offer, but someone wants to court you in a traditional manner. Uh, the courting card, it's a decision. Yeah, I think this is your decision, Libra. You're going to have to choose um, whether to reconcile with somebody or to move on, to let somebody go, to release them and move towards something new. So tell me about judgment. There we go. Yeah, so there's definitely a decision. It's an emotional decision. We have the King and Queen of Cups. So you have someone who's got one foot in the door and out. Now that's what you're going to look at. Look at the different, the, if you got two people, it's like looking at these offers, these communications uh, from a different way. So you have someone here who's got one foot in the door and out. There may be a pause with this person. So it's a pause to reflect as well before you accept an offer. Do you still have feelings for this person? There's someone here who's got feelings for you. I see two people. You got someone here who's not the most emotional. There's someone who kind of pulls back a little. One foot in the door and out and someone who is ready. And I do see some cancer energy with someone here. Tell me about the two of cups. Move down. Two of cups. One wants to come out, yeah. So this is something you've been waiting for. The ship has sailed for one person, if you got two. Uh, but this is something you've been waiting for, the one. Uh, and I feel like you're just going to kind of wait to see how things go. But I see you making a decision, emotional decision. You've had a tough time in your love life. Um, this could be a decision if, it, if you are younger, if this person wants to have children. I see the possible blending of two families. But I see success, some truth. Somebody has become more successful. They're going to come in and tell you the truth. They may even, when you see this person, uh, they may even give you a little bit of a, a, a gift, something sweet, something sentimental. Okay. Someone may be missing you. This could be someone who has children now that didn't before. They may have been married to someone else. Yeah, it's telling you to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. So for those of you who have two, if you have a new person, it's telling you to keep an open mind uh, to anything you need to release that's emotional before you make a decision. Don't your, let your emotions control you. Okay. You got someone here who's very much in control of their emotions. I feel like we got two people who maybe never really shared your feelings. Yeah, it's safe for you to love here. So it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This is something you've been waiting for. But I think you're going to wait to see how things go. This could very well be the one. But I think the ship has sailed for those of you that have two. There's definitely someone from the past who may not have been faithful. And playfulness, yeah. So someone, when I said faithful, so somebody here um, may not have been faithful in the past, okay? A little bit immature, kind of flirty, wasn't really ready for a relationship, possibly. But I feel, oh, true love. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you've got a choice to make here. I think there's, you got someone who is definitely feeling that love. Uh, someone may not have been confident about expressing their feelings and their love in the past, or they just weren't ready. They didn't feel confident. Maybe they needed to work to build their financial foundation. They wanted to own a house, a home. Uh, maybe they were building a business, and they feel more confident now. But someone here has got one foot in the door and out. But it's also a courting card. So I think you've got a couple people. You've got someone who wants to court you. So it's telling you to kind of look um, at these offers 
these situations about which way you want to go. Just take a little pause to reflect before you make a decision. You'll do the right thing, yeah? Loving yourself first, valuing yourself, you see. This is where you're healing. You're releasing something. Uh, you're going to, you know, stay and hold yourself in high regard. You want to make sure whoever comes towards you does. That's why I said just hold back, kind of protect yourself before you make a decision, okay? I feel as though there's a situation here in the past where you kind of held back something. Now, I don't know if this person held back their feelings or you held back or somebody was just saving money. It looks like somebody was saving money. They weren't confident. They weren't ready. And they are ready now. Definitely financially stable. I think they're going to give you a gift if you um, let this person come and see you. Moving towards you. This is a soulmate. This is someone who's been looking for that soulmate, you know. They've been single a long time, sticking to themselves, focused on their money. They wanted to have all the tools they need. Now, some of you are going to move away from somebody and move towards another. So very soon. So something's going to happen in the new year. It could even be happening already. Uh, it is safe for you to love, and that's what you're looking to feel, who you feel the safest with if you have a choice. You're looking out for yourself, loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That is a decision here. Okay. Very nice. All right, Libra. I feel like you've got this. I wouldn't be, I don't think it's going to be horribly confusing or difficult. I think you're just going to take a little bit of a pause to reflect before you make a choice if there's two. Tell me about this optimism. Yeah. Yeah. So be optimistic about your future. Something is going to happen very soon. I feel in the new year, uh, somebody's ready to open up emotionally. Uh, you have a lot of abundance around you. Someone sees a future with you. They want to have a future with you. Very nice. It could be a new person too. You may have, you may be just letting go of someone who may reach out uh, in this next while or sometime in the new year uh, where you may have to be very strong and confident to move away from someone using all the power you have to control your emotions not letting them get the best of you um, you may still have a lot of feelings or love from this person in the past so you maybe need to kind of pull back and temper your thoughts your emotions and balance yourself out it's a head over heart decision but i think it's this other person with the head over heart as well one more card it's safe for you to love. Yeah, beautiful passion at new beginning here. So you're going to pick the person you feel the most comfortable with. You're going to pick the person who there's room for growth, this passion at new beginning. You want to feel safe with the person you're with. So if you have somebody who was unfaithful to you in the past, you may have had a lot of feelings for this person, but I actually feel you're going to take that reflection. Okay, quick look back at all the hard work. Uh, and I think you're going to let go. But you do have someone who does not want to let go of you. Yeah, you've got someone who doesn't want to let go of you. Somebody was holding back. Uh, someone you haven't heard from possibly for a long time. Uh, this is somebody coming towards you that's sincere. They're looking at the details of why they were holding back. They're going to come and share that with you. For most of you, I feel it's just a new person. You don't have to rush into anything. Take the time to get to know somebody, okay? Slow and steady wins the race. Just sort of wait to see what happens is what I feel like you're going to do. You're kind of, there's something you've been waiting for that's going to happen. Uh, but it's all about who you feel the most comfortable with. I definitely see somebody very attractive, very uh, physically attractive here as well with a lot of charisma. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. All right, so it's up to you. You'll have a decision, but it has to do with your emotional fulfillment and happiness. Stay conscious, okay? Stay optimistic uh, because what that does, it raises your vibration. It makes you more attractive, and that's what I feel is happening. Someone's very attracted to you because you're valuing yourself here. So very nice. All right, take care, Libra. Wish you the best. We'll see you soon.